Hello, welcome back to Overbooked. I'm Amanda and today I'll be reviewing the book The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. It's like the perfect weather to review this book. It's like dark and creepy outside right now and it's raining, it's chilly and it's just like spooky. And this book was very spooky. Perfect for Halloween this week coming up. It's just gets you scared. So The Broken Girls starts off with this very spooky prologue and it's about this you see you hear about this girl running through the woods she's running from something somebody is chasing her it's dark it's night she's trying to get somewhere you don't know where she's coming from you don't know who she's running away from and at the end of the prologue she just screams and then we meet Fiona and she is in the current time and she is haunted by the death of her sister she constantly goes back to the site of where her sister was murdered which is the property of a boarding school that this book centers around called Idlewood Hall. She is there and she is at night and she's just thinking. She's just trying to mourn her sister but also try to go through the facts. Fiona just doesn't know if they got the right guy for the murder if and like all the facts of her sister's murder don't really add up and she's walking around the site and she swears she sees something and she runs back to her car to leave. The next day, she goes to her job where because she, she's a freelance journalist, she runs to one of like the newspaper op offices in town, and she finds out that the Idlewood Hall property is being bought by somebody, and she decides that she wants to investigate this school and figure out why somebody is buying this property and who they are. She also is dating a police officer, and it is like a a cause for tension because. Apparently in this town, police officers and journalists hate each other. Um, please let me know if this is actually a thing, if like law enforcement hates journalists. I feel like probably it could be realistic. I just don't really know. But in this book, it seemed like they were like, there was a, such a deep hatred for the two professions. And I just didn't think that that was real. And I thought that that was weird. So her and her police officer boyfriend decided to take the case and figure out what's going on at this property. Fiona finally gets the tour of the property and with the son of the woman who decided to purchase the property. And while she's there, the workers who are working on the property discover a body in the well. Fiona is like blown away because not only was her sister murdered here on this property, now this other girl that no one knew was there was also potentially murdered. And so she decides to not only look into the history of Idlewood Hall, but to figure out what happened to this girl and why was she murdered and who did it. Not only do we hear Fiona's story, we hear the story of four girls from the 1950s while the boarding school was still in operation. They are all roommates and they are haunted by this Mary Hand and she keeps showing them things from their dark past, from things that are haunting them, things that they're ashamed of and eventually it just like starts freaking them out that they just decide that they just want to talk to each other about it. So they all come from super different backgrounds and are all very different girls but they form this tight sisterhood because they're able to talk to each other about what they've gone through in their lives. And they can all sympathize with each other and just be there for one another and have each other's back. So the book goes back and forth between the chapters of Fiona and the girls and the girls chapter leads up to the murder and disappearance of the girl that's found in the well. And Fiona's chapter leads to the discovery of what actually happened to that girl and not only that, giving you the history of Idlewood Hall and finally getting to the bottom of Fiona's sister's murder. And it's just this creepy, awesome mystery book that honestly you will not want to read in the dark because I did and I got super freaked out. And it was just really good and a perfect read for Halloween. I loved how much there was this huge like sisterhood among the girls at the boarding school and I just love seeing that in books. I love seeing girls supporting one another. I love girls really like being there for each other through thick and thin and doing it like because they just genuinely care about each other. 
and you know there was some like love story between Fiona and her boyfriend but it wasn't like the center of the story it wasn't like dominating it and I loved how just so female focused the book was and it was very enjoyable I get spooked out really easily so I would say that this book wasn't as scary as I'm making it seem but it was very spooky to me and if you get scared easily don't do well with scary movies it's gonna be scary and it's gonna be fun and you're gonna like it I read it when I was home alone and I literally had to like close all the blinds, lock my door, and like just like hide under covers for a second because Mary Hand is freaky as crap and watch out. I definitely enjoyed this book. I would probably rate it, I think I rated it about four stars on Goodreads. It was a great story. It was fun to read. Some of the writing I just didn't get into. Like I think the author did a great job finding a voice, a different voice for all of the characters since they were all so different. But I didn't enjoy some of her writing or some of like the p things that she put in I just didn't super enjoy. I wish she would have left some of it out. I think she spent a lot of time describing the appearance of the girls and I didn't find that beneficial to me at all. Yeah, it was just, there were some things that I think could have been left out. I think there was some extra fluff in it and I would rather had more descriptions or past history about the school or the girls than this extra fluff that she added in. Otherwise, great book, great book for Halloween. Let me know if you guys have read this book and if you have, let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys are doing for Halloween. Um, if you have any big plans, what your costumes are, love to hear it. I am trying to come up with videos every week, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with that and I will see you guys next time.